Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Surviving Alpha 18. So it is the morning of day 24, um, and I was working on last night getting a bunch of stuff done here. Uh, I'm really trying to get as much concrete poured out as I can here. Um, and I know I said I was going to spend this day mining and stuff, but I think we're going to go work on the base a bit and then head off to the trader. Um, so I've been trying to get things done here. Um, Got some more uh, ammo tips or bullet tips here crafted out of the forge. Now I think we're going to have most likely, or this isn't enough right now, this is only what, uh, 450, 600, 750, 850, plus about 200 rounds of AP ammo. Um, so it's not really enough at this moment, but we can make another what, divide this by three, uh, uh, you know, a bunch. <laughs> Sorry, my, my my brain's not working. 250 rounds. Sorry. Uh, and yes, somebody mentioned that doing, um, making glue and stuff in the uh, chemistry station was cheaper. And I originally thought that it was just faster, but I am completely wrong. So uh, it only takes five bones and one bottle of murky water for 12 seconds to make one glue. But if I do it in here... Um, try to make glue it's seven and one for 17 seconds so I, I was kind of right it is faster but I wasn't really looking at the the cost so it is cheaper to do it in the um, chem station and thank you again I apologize I can't remember who it was that said that but thank you again for letting me know that um, and I should be doing that stuff in here so 312 let's get that cooking out of here there we go get some glue going we're gonna need it eventually so I'm just making it taking some glass jars with me today when we go to the trader because I want to get some more murky water uh, but let's go outside I made those um, I made the uh, the stairs so we're gonna work on those today um, I'm also making uh, more um, iron uh, spikes out of here and some molotovs we got another 10 molotovs cooking in there because uh, I got a feeling we're gonna need those on horde night so let's get over here and put the stairs in now it's probably a little premature. It'll allow the zombies to get out, but I want to show you what I was, th what I'm thinking here for the stairs. So let's just make sure we've got this done properly here. Uh, so we need one more to go to the top, or do we? Yes, one more. So that's going to go to the top. Uh, so this one is should be going right in there, which is not. So we're going to do it this way. Yes. It's not perfect, but it'll do for now. It'll do in a pinch. All right, so let's get these guys in here. I was a little bit um, overzealous, and I shouldn't have put this extra one in here, but whatever. I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Well, I mean, I'm as close to perfect as you can possibly get, of course. But, uh, yeah, so... Not going to be exactly like I wanted, but uh, it'll be good enough. All right, so we put these in here, like so, and then here. You know what? Actually, it might work out better if it's like this, because they might have a tendency to go right off here and then fall quicker. Although that could be a problem. Am I hearing footsteps? Or is it just me? Probably just me. All right, let's get this knocked out. All right, so there's that. Now, in order to do this, what we want to do is this and this. Uh, and then over here, that. Oh, yes, it's going to look very nice. That. Let's get these hammered in. Right, and then we need you and you. Okay, get these hammered in, and then we need you and you, and then we need to change this. Leave my light on for now. Okay, let's just change you to these guys, because we need to go this way. Once again, thank you, Josh Jawoodle. Check his channel out. He's always got cool ideas for builds. Uh, so that's, I mean, my original 
uh, base was using his original killing corridor. This is this is obviously not his killing corridor, so don't uh, assume that it is. This is just something that's a little different. I like the idea of the killing corridor, and if I was playing by myself, I think I would just stick with that because it's um, a really cool design. Uh, and if you want to stay alive moving forward, I think it's really the best way to go. Killing corridor with AP ammo um, is the best way to go, I think. But there, I mean, there's there's plenty of base designs, and it just depends on what you like. This one, uh, because I like shooting things in uh, this game, uh, that's the reason why I'm going with this base, because we can get a lot of shooting out from this base design, because it's going to be piling up right at our door. Um, and we can just open up on them. Now, I thought about um, seriously now, but where I want to put the dart traps, and I think I'm going to put them uh, by the door facing downwards. So shooting down into the door. So now when the zombies come up here, they go over here. Oh no, I've fallen down. Oh, now I can get up real ba real fast. So that's the goal. And if they come up, if they fall off the other way, they decide to go around, you know, they can get up and up this ladder really quick or up the stairs really quick. So that's the whole purpose of that. Now, how much concrete do I have left? Can I get this extra layer in? We've got... 840, so another, f what, 42? So let's get this laid in as much as we can. Then we'll head off to the trader. And then, um, if he's got something simple, we may, I'll take the quest. We may not do it today, but I'll take the quest. Uh, at least this too as well. Um, leaving this extra block if we've got time to put another level up one from here having it six high might be a good idea, too um, Just a little bit higher off the ground So we might go ahead and do that as well So I'll leave filling in this little section here until a little later until we know if we're gonna go one higher or not I think we, we could have the resources for it I brought my door with me because I was going to place the door, but I'm thinking I'll hold off because if we're going to go one block higher, then uh, we shouldn't be doing that now. Yeah. So I think the biggest thing holding us back is the steel. Not getting enough, for, like not having enough steel. So we're going to cash our quest in today. He gets new stock tomorrow. So we gotta buy whatever steel we can get off him today. Now, how much more do I have here? Another 11 more. Um, so we'll buy as much steel as we ha we can off him today. That's what, nine, 10, 11? Oh, look, it's a party. Hi, can I join the party, guys? Yeah? Awesome. It's a baseball party. Oh. That guy didn't want to play. Let's get this one here. Speedy Gonzalez. Oh. Oh. Ow. Stay off me. Oh, how, you know, you know what I mean? Like, there's those moments where you're just like, how does that miss? How does that miss? There we go. Knock two punk ass out. What's up, you three? Let's get away from the wall here. I've been known to hit walls with baseball bats, so let's uh, not damage our wall. Maybe we zip over and grab that airdrop today, too. See ya. Uh, somehow I connected with you. Looking for a love tap. There we go. All right, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, filling that shiz in. Let's get back up this way. The cheap way. All right, let's get rid of the rest of our concrete here. Um, so as I was saying, we'll, I think we'll, what we'll do is we'll whip over, grab the airdrop first. Um, run over any zombies on the way there. And then on the way back, we'll go to the trader, go to the watering hole. Hopefully I'll remember to go to the watering hole. Uh, to pick up some more um, stuff that we need. This was the nitrate powder. Probably have to fill that in before Horde Night. Most likely. Alright, let's get back inside. 
Now, I don't want to put the drawbridge in yet. I don't want to put the, uh, the hatches or anything like that in yet until we know if we're going to go one higher or not. I think we've got the time. We've got six days before the horde arrives. So I think we've got enough. How come I can't get out of here? What the hell? Am I just too weak? There we go. I'm just too weak. Two weeks. Um, so let's just leave this here for now. The hammer can go in here. Leave you in here. Let's see what we're doing here. 55. Another 95. Beautiful. How much we got out of here? Another 83. Let's get some more cement going. And get this going. Okay, so. Not a lot of concrete, but enough all right so let's put this down here uh we need the water okay and we're going to sell these things beautiful let's get on the bike and get going now this is still going right yep and there's our glue i don't know why i'm doing this now i can just do it when i get home all right let's go not going to eat anything just yet I just think it looks so ridiculous <laughs> with the uh, football helmet and the uh, cigar sticking out of my mouth. It's just so ridiculous. <laughs> so ridiculous. All right, let's get that airdrop. All right, who? Ah, she jumped out of the way. She heard me coming. That's what it was. All right, uh, where is this airdrop? Just over here. So, I've had the pleasure of driving the four x four. One of my other off-camera uh, playthroughs, uh, I managed to pick up both the um, the four x four chassis and the uh, accessories. Plus, I picked up the um, schematic to make a four x four. So I picked up the all three of them from the trader. There we go. Yeah, there's some water right there too. Beautiful. I picked them all. I picked up all three from the trader. Yeah. So I was able to make it early in the game and I'm driving around off-road on this thing and it's just so in a way it's strangely satisfying like it's it's difficult to go over all the rough terrain um, needless to say it's fun to drive it's a little loud uh, and it, it goes about just as fast as a motorbike so it's not like it's any faster um, but the thing I don't like is the motorbike is pretty smooth. It's two wheels. We bounce over things and going off road, it's not that noisy because you've got two contact points, right? So it's a little bit noisy, but not that bad, right? But in the truck, because it's got four contact points, it's constantly bouncing around. So to go like over train like this, it's not anywhere near as fast as the motorcycle. And it's, it's like really, really loud, like really loud. So I kind of like it because you can, like the storage is huge. Like you can carry so much stuff. Like it's one of those things that you just want to go to a, a big POI, like the Shotgun Messiah and just loot everything, like scrap everything and loot it all. Fill the bike up or the, the truck up and go home. But as far as like being satisfying, like going across country and stuff, the motorcycle is just so much better. Like, I'd never be able to make it this far, this fast, on the in the uh, 4x4. There's just no way. All right, candidate. Oh. Hey, Mo, what's up? Oh, I missed it completely. I should go back and get him, but... He always feels dejected when I don't do that. Wow. Nice drop. He always feels dejected when I don't go back and hit him. But, you know, today I don't have time. Just don't have time to go back. What's up, buddy? See ya. Good luck. That's the other thing too. The vultures um, against the truck, they, when they attack you, they pretty much don't do any damage. At least I ha I've seen them hit me and I've had blood on the screen, but my damage was zero. So I don't know if it's got like an anti-vulture screen on it or what it is, but going over a train like this, wow. Um, in the uh, 4x4, you're a lot slower, so the vultures can catch you faster. But with this thing, forget it. Like. They're, they're <laughs> They're just not going to catch you. There's just no way. And maybe the motorbike just feels faster. Because it's just cooler. I don't know. 
Maybe I'm wrong. Alright, let's see what Jen's got. What do you got for us, Jen? Nail gun! What was, oh my god, contact grenades. Are you kidding me? Do we want to build faster or blow shit up? I think we want to blow shit up. We got time to build. Yeah, let's take the contract grenades. Why not? Contact grenades, not contract grenades. All right, now let's get as much. Uh, we can't get very much forged steel, but definitely can't get that much. I wish this would just go to how many dukes you have. Oh, let's just sell this stuff first. Getting rid of the bow. I don't think we're ever going to need it. So 24. Probably We can probably get about 26 of these. 26, 27. Uh, 27. Yeah, let's take it all. So we can get a crucible. Maybe maybe he's gonna maybe Jen will have a crucible tomorrow or the schematic for making a crucible. But without that, we're kind of dead in the water right now. Yeah. Alright. Be with you, my friend. And with you too, Jen. And with you too. Alright, let's head home. Actually, I think before we go home, we're gonna hit up some iron. So let's go to the iron mine. Alright, iron mine. So I'm gonna bang out a little iron here. Maybe spend a couple of hours here just getting some iron. Uh, iron. Iron, my mother-in-law says. Uh, and maybe some lead too. I don't know. But let's just grab it and then um, head back home. See what else we can do on the base. I think maybe I do want to make it one level higher. I'm thinking that's probably gonna be better. All right, well, I think that'll do it. I did a, a whole bunch of digging down here. I mean, not as much as I'd like to, but uh, yeah, we got a bunch of the iron dug out of here. So now we've got, what, 9,000 iron or so. Found a silver nugget, a gold nugget, 880 lead, a little bit of sand, not bad. Let's get back home. Um, I'll probably end the episode here tonight and do some digging in the mine, get some more stone so we can melt it all down. Now let's get home. I want to play around with these grenades and there's a POI right next to our house that I've been wanting to go into but I haven't gone into it yet. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, it's no and it's not the apartment building across the street. Like I said that place uh, I mean it's okay if you want to raid. If you're if it's early in the game now um, it's a good place to raid. I mean you can get all your clothes in there. You can most likely find a wrench, your cooking pot, uh, probably enough food to do for a while. Um, so it's a pretty good place to raid. And there's not a lot of zombies. I mean, each floor doesn't have a lot of zombies. Um, and even if you went in loud, you're not going to really be waking the ones up above you. So I think they spawn by floor. So each time you go up a floor, they spawn on the floor. So it's actually a pretty good POI to kind of go into. Do you have anything in storage? No. Um, just at this level, it's not, I mean, it's not exciting at all, right? Uh, once you've been through it once, it's like you just don't want to do it again. Like I said, I went through it with my kids uh, and it was fun then, clearing the whole building, but doing it again is just going to be painful. Okay, so let's get uh, some more of this coming out. And getting this mixing is a good idea. Beautiful. All right, uh, let's put you in here. And I'm going to leave all of this out because I want to start... I started making more darts as well. So 46, we're gonna need wood. Uh, I don't know how much we need in there right now. Let's just put that in. Um, and then let's get another, um, one, two, three of those going. Yeah, we'll definitely use them. Actually, what's going on in here? Okay, we can put more lead in here. And a little bit more wood. Good enough. Uh, beautiful. I want to try these grenades out today, so we're going to go do that. Um, and let's put this stuff away. I did eat a bit of the food while we were in the mine um, that we found in the... There we go. In the um, airdrop. So let's put these guys away. And uh, the tin cans we can hang on to. And the sticks of dynamite, I believe we can put in here. 
Now, I'm not going to take a lot of grenades with me. Maybe like, what, five? We need to go into a POI where we can get good use out of them, though. Those in there for now. And then let's put you in here. 82 steel, not too bad. We'll be able to reinforce about eight blocks. Uh, let's get these down the bar. In the junk turret down. Um, make sure it's loaded. Oh, for Christ's sake. How many times have I done that, guys? Like, you, <laughs> you see me do this, like, all the time. Uh, oh, paper, we don't need you. Let's make sure the thing is loaded now. Okay. Alrighty. Fire axe, put the grenades back here. Actually, let's switch these around. Uh, just do that. Put you up. Actually, yeah. Alright, now, the POI is... This is a contact grenade, so we've got to be careful to not, like, blow ourselves up. It's right here. Now, maybe this is not... You know, these grenades would be great for the bear den. Where's the bear den? Dog house. Well, I don't know if this is a new POI or what, but I don't remember this being in the uh, earlier versions, so... Let's just see. doesn't look like there's any way under there. Ooh. Alright, let's get you out here. I know it's only one. But if I don't actually test how these grenades work, um, before I go into a tight space, I'm going to be dead meat. Dead meat, I tell you. See what I mean? All right. <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's so awesome. Just gotta make sure we hit the right thing with it. And that by right thing, I mean like not us. Where of dog? Okay, let's get in here. Let's get some plastic. Another hammer. Definitely going to need plastic moving forward, that's for sure. Oh, 17 repair kits. Are you kidding me? Wow. And three more. Well, we ain't making repair kits for a long time. I made the glue because I thought I might have to make repair kits, but... Apparently not. Let's not do that. Oh, I thought that was iron. Wire tool. Okay. Okay. I wonder if this door is open. Find out in a second. Knock, knock. Wake up, fuckers. There's one. Really? Oh, shit. Well... As much as I want to use a grenade on you, buddy, that's like a bad, like a death thing for me. I heard somebody outside. Nope. Tell you what, before we loot this place, these grenades are just burning a hole in my pocket. We gotta go get some people. So we should have respawns in here. Wake up, everybody. Come on. Bring it out in the street. I got some fun for you guys. That's only two. Well, could be worse. Oh. That'll make short work, short work of hordes, that's for sure. You don't get a grenade. You were slow to the party. You get the bat. Alright, let's leave that. Let's go back and loot this house. Sorry guys, I had... Uh, 
I wish we had them earlier from when we had that wandering horde. Just kill off that fast walker and you walk around them to get them all in one small area and blast them with one grenade. Oh, a level 5 ranch. Are you kidding me? What's the block damage? 52. 40. Yeah, man. You kidding me? We'll melt those other two wrenches down in the, uh, in the forge. They're not really worth much, so... I've been getting used to melting my tools. Like the low level tools that you're really not going to get much for at the trader. Just melt them down. to get more... Like there's another one. You get more iron. Okay, let's get that wrench out though. Let's not have these grenades out while we're wrenching stuff. Let's just see that being bad. Okay, I'm going to wrench a few things in here. Uh, and then uh, we're going to head home. Got a little bit of time. I don't know how much concrete we're going to have mixed today. Uh, let's just take the scope. Sure, why not? And the light. Now, this fixture isn't, but some of these fixtures you can get brass out of. Not that one, obviously, but some of them you can. Ooh, cowboy boots. Take the bed apart. We need the springs. Beautiful. What else do we got here? Take these apart. Yeah, nothing there, nothing there. So, yeah, a bit of a dud. But we got some stuff out of this place. I mean, the, okay, the repair kits, definitely not a dud. Like, we got over a stack of repair kits now. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. Like, we're going to have, rep like, repair kits for years. Let's take these. Oh, we need to get a shower going. Do I? I can't remember if I have a shower head or not. Let's take this one. Now we got a shower head. Beautiful. Let's take this light out of here. Get the electrical pods. All right, beautiful. We'll take this car apart. What the hell? All right, it was supporting something. It was supporting something. Kind of a cheesy way to get damaged. We'll leave the porch light on. Let people think there's somebody home. Oh yeah, we need wood too, that's right. The other thing we needed. So let's grab... a couple of these trees. Okay, how many is that? 1,400. I don't think we'll need much more than that right now. Okay, let's get home. Uh, finish up working on a little bit on the base. He says as he's rooting through garbage. Wait, is this the... Oh, alright. Let's leave it open. In case the horde decides to bang on stuff. I don't think it will, but you never know. Alright. Better put those grenades in here, because, you know... You know me and grenades. All right, let's put those in there. You, you. Keeping this guy on me. Um, what do we want to do with these extra ones? Let's just... Uh, you know what? Let's use this repair kit on this guy. Might as well. Um, okay, so we're going to need uh, our gag from over here. Um, you, you. Won't be able to do too much. Hammer. Bring you down. Yeah, let's get uh, a bunch of this going for overnight. Because we are definitely going to be going to get some more stone. I mean, we still have some in here, but not a lot. All right, uh, let's get this mixing. Do I not have sand? Oh, yeah. Derp, derp, derp. All right. Don't need the sand now. I can stay there. Oh, we got a thousand wood in there, so it's not too bad. 299. Okay, so we got a bit. Let's go do a little bit. Um, 
Might be able to get this part done. Yeah, I think we need to go up one more. So we've got enough for what? Uh, 22. And that's exactly what that is. 22. Beautiful. The grenades were, I gotta say, far more entertaining than the nail gun. I don't mind spending a little extra time hitting this up if I can watch zombies blow up with uh, contact grenades. Okay, we're gonna go up one more here. So we're out of concrete. Definitely gonna be have to make concrete. Uh, so we're gonna have to raise this up one. Put one more out of the stairs. How much do we have left here? Nine. Uh, gotta um, upgrade that one more time over there. I think we're looking pretty good though. The door is gonna go here. And then this is gonna be upgrade like the steel, steel. Like steel all the way around the door. The door is steel. Come in this way. Another door here, steel door reinforced to max. Steel block, steel block. So they got to bang through here. And I wonder if we make... Like if we can go out one more and put these as bars here that I can see in, then we can shoot from here the zombies through the bars if we put the door facing inward we can put an angle block here yeah that'll work and then bars and then we'll be able to see the zombies here banging on this door and we can shoot them yeah if they break through the first door then we can just shoot them right through here as they pile up in the hallway. Now we're gonna have to make sure they can't get up on the roof this time. But I think that should be easily done just by having an overhang over top of here. Like have it go up four and then have an overhang over top where we had the dart traps and everything shooting down. So they can't get up. And have that overhang a couple blocks high just in case they stack up out here trying to get up, which I don't think they can. Yeah, I think that'll work. Let's hope it does. Wow, lag. Um, so yeah, we're going to go up one more block, then we'll put the drawbridge in that can, that's going to go across here. That's our way out. Yeah, that's going to work, I think. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. So let's head over to the stone mine. We'll end the episode there tonight. Uh, tomorrow, um, the trader's going to have all new GAC. So let's find anything we want to sell. We'll start off the episode in the mine and if we have anything for the trader why is it that it's just not letting me am I just like what is it why can't I get up what the heck is it because I had the hammer in my hand I'm not convinced that was the case, but it sure looked that way. Let's bring you down here. Okay, uh, concrete. Let's see how we're doing here. Let's get... Uh, no, yep, yep, yep. Let's get that cooking out. This is still going. Right? That'll be going for a while. Let's make sure this is going. Uh, we need some more wood here. That should probably be enough. Sorry, my brain's not functioning right now, so I'm just kind of guessing at shiz. Alright, let's use some of this. And use some of this. I'm going to overfill myself with two bacon and eggs because, damn, bacon and eggs is good. Bacon and eggs are life, that's what it is. Alright, let's head over to the mine now. I don't think we need to set anything else going here. I should probably make more gunpowder, but we don't have any more coal. So, hopefully we can find some of that tonight. And before we go anywhere. I keep forgetting to do, uh, turn that headlight on. I get so used to working in the dark that I forget to turn the headlight on. Actually, I want to test something here. I want to see what the capability of doing donuts is. Well, a little bit of drifting. 
Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. Can't do that in a truck. At least I'm pretty sure you can't. I'll have to try it at some point. Yeah, man. Park it right here. Alright. Going down to the mine. I am going to end the episode here, guys, because I've got a lot of digging to do. Uh, and I don't know if you want to see me hitting up stuff, but that's what's going to happen. I'm going to go in here and mine down there. Get a lot more stone. Now, there is some more um, lead down here as well. And maybe we'll find some coal, hopefully. Uh, really hoping we find coal. Because um, I don't want to have to go searching for it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please feel free to subscribe. And you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. I always love comments. Um, and I do respond to all of them. Uh, well, not respond, but I do uh, read them all. And you'll know because I put a like and a heart on them. Um, I think it's just uh, appropriate if uh, I'm going to be doing videos and people are commenting to make sure they all get read. So yeah, uh, until next time, we'll see you all later.